remember them no if uh, those moments happened already a few years ago or a few months ago no and we call it a throwback no so if you say something is a throwback to a former time you mean that it is like something that existed a long time ago or a, a time ago rather so most likely ang mga throwback moments in you are those uh uh significant events nga that include a success the class may it be uh you won in a inter-school competition or you became in, an uh an achiever no or an uh member ka sa honors list or maybe you got the uh you got a scholarship grant no and uh significant events ga po ng uh if you if you uh experience it class na uh your parents or maybe one of the members of your family would bust out the uh photo album that you have class tapos uh din mo sa mga uh, old pictures that you have and your parents will share the stories of what happened during that uh, time it was taken no and most likely ang katong mga pictures kay mga bata pa bitaw ta class diba uh, or kung dili babies pa then they would share um uh mag share uh what they call that mag share sila sa mga events or unsa na hitabo ang picture no tapos um may binuangan na dayon mo no most likely uh i think uh, almost all of us experience that kind of thing no a family gathering small family gathering at home diba for us it is a it is just a um family family gathering a small family gathering but for them it is a significant event because they uh they remember almost all of the details that happened uh, during that time it was stay uh, that picture was taken the back class uh it's different in our generation na uh, atong mga significant events and moments in life are those uh we encountered na uh, we have success we uh we experienced uh a different kind of happiness no that we cannot forget no unsa pa ba diha ang mga uh, mga uh, what you call that mga significant moments in life class that you have encountered na uh, almost all of us uh have experienced can you please uh share uh give me insights as to unsa pa na mga mga throwback na to diha uh, yes, Luis. Atong prom, sir. Memorable kay to para sa amo asa. Prom? Yes, sir. Oh, lagi no prom. Uh, uh, high school prom na to, no? So, I think para sa ko, dili ko kaingon nga. Memorable siya kay... Moral naman sa ko na. At least ha, sa ako ang experience. <laughs> sa ako ang experience. Na, dili, uh, not saying to, uh, to everyone, no? Ah, uh, uh, how many times mo nakapag prom class? Once or twice? Once lang. Once, ah, okay, once lang. Ako nang uh, memorable sa inyo, no? But for us, we experienced twice mga good kay from the old curriculum, diba? JS prom na, juniors and seniors prom. So, uh, mga, uh, naka-experience ko twice, so, mga, okay. Na yung mga okay moments, but, uh, I could consider nga mas, mas significant pa sa kwa, at least in my experience, no uh when i when i became a uh, an athletic scholar na sa school na, na siya. okay uh -huh. any other um common throwbacks na to class yes crisia junior high school graduation days no? ah yeah tama graduation days no uh your your junior graduation days so uh, a year after, uh, before you become a, a senior high school student. Nice, nice. Thank you so much. What's up, back class? Throwback memories. Um, basi nai ubal sa inyo, inyo ang unforgettable throwback memories kay um, na ay classmate ninyo nga na slide, nagkatawa mo, tas ikaw na din uh, na din <laughs> Na, na po yung karma nga naigo sa'yo mo ah. So, yun ang inana. 
Diba? So, sa pa ba? Nakuha mid-25 medals are nice. 25 medals? Wow! Daghan kayo. That is a, 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 a throwback, no? Uh, you, you can easily forget. No? So, these types of throwbacks class or, or uh, events that happen in our lives are mostly the happy moments in our lives, diba? We cannot easily forget those happy moments in our lives. No, we cannot easily forget those events that make us happy, that make us uh, um uh what's about that make us feel amazing, no? Uh, may it be yeah, kana uh, same as Justin's um uh, experience, no? Nakahubin of twenty five medals, no? That's not that's not going to happen every day in our lives, diba? That we win 25 medals or your group won 25 medals. And also, it's not uh, every day that you experience your prom, diba class? And also your graduation. No? So those memories are, are rare moments in life that make us happy and uh, we could feel amazing about it. No? Uh, so what are the happy, significant moments, class? Um, uh, how about sa inyo, ka nang unique sa inyo ang naitabo sa inyo class? Yes, Krizia? I think, sir, ka nang pag-accept ito sa kung research proposal, sir, kaya nga na, sir, once kaya na siya, sir, kaya sa gara, kaya baka-decline ang mga research proposal, sir. I see. So, na-approve ng research proposal. At ito, no, yeah. Um, Diligid bitaw sa yun nga makakam up of research proposal no or research topic niyo. So, uh, that is a good thing na na-approve na. <laughs> na-approve na ang inyong mga research topics. Okay. How about the others? Ano sir? Makasakan sa Regional Schools Press Conference. Ano sa sa John Patrick? RSPC sir sa journalism. Ah, RSPC. Okay. okay. Yes. Mm-hmm. What and some of your ano achievement? Uh, second place for TV broadcasting, sir. Oh, nice, nice. 20... Nationals? Uh, regional, sir. Regional. Okay, regionals. What school did you ano? Uh, uh, represented. I, I represented the division of Malaybalay, sir. Malaybalay. So, ang first is. Uzamis, sir. Oh, no first na diyang Uzamis. I see. That's nice. That's nice. Uh, how about the others, class? Any other uh, happy, significant moments in your life? Um, siguro, ano, kanang, ano, class? Ah, uh, yes, Juliana. Um, taking on different positions in different organizations, sir. So, oh. um, let's say, for example, um, I've been through uh, six organizations or eight organizations, sir, with different um sitting positions or positions nice. in the organization sir okay that's nice no you already experienced a lot of um positions for um organizations at least not so school nice nice how about the others yes rico baka daog og daghan lastiko sa dampa sa bata pa ko sir Okay, dagan kay maayo mang gidire silingan barkada na sir. Gihira ra kayo nga ang <laughs> dagdag. Tanawan lagi. <laughs> so grabe gid lugar to ka unforgettable moment gid lugar sa imo ari ko. Ah, gid dimo malintan gid. Unique pud kay to sir kay sila kay mga academic ilang mga achievement ako kay simple lang ato <laughs> achievement sir. Bisud gito daw. <laughs> Maayo, tsada king achieve. Grabe ka unique na achievement, Rico. Grabe ka unique. <laughs> Pinagataas ka rin. Grabe. Grabe nga achievement yun siya. And how about the others? Birthdays. Yeah. Um, birthdays can be considered also a, a significant event in our lives because it would just happen once a year, no? And and we should be thankful that we are given another year, no, to live in this in this world and share the talents that we can share, share the knowledge that we can share, and also share our lives, 
to others, no? Sa so, pabagiha, class. Unplanned trips, yeah. Uh, unforgettable, yeah, po ng mga unplanned trips, no? With friends. Because, obviously, unplanned yan, eh. Tapos, you'd be building um, good memories with them, di ba? Internet cafes, okay, pa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lagi ba? Internet cafes before? Obviously, nagid kay mga ano ana, nagid kay mga uh, good moments and memories with friends. Ako, personally, uh, I, I do have also good memories with my friends in uh, in internet cafes, no? Kanang uh, makadaog sa gunsuno games, di ba? Walay pildi. Tapos muli, happy kayo. Lami kay uli, kay walay pildi. Na guidance with friends. Why? Oi, Tisha, what happened? Why not? Wala, sir. Kay... <laughs> Wait. Sinipon sa ako. At pabating, sir. Grade 7. Ah, mandi ka na grade 7. Apil na si Pakit, sir. Oh. Ah, mandi mo na grade 7. Tablon. Ah, tablon. Ano na, na guidance man mo? Nangaway. Na... <laughs> I think really na siya sa happy moments na ma 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 Unique ang, uh, di sa inyo unique yun, ama pa um, Festive ang intramural sa Moogs, no? Because I've experienced that because my mom was a teacher at Moogs before. So there will be times good nga makaadto ko sa school and mo, sometimes magdungan ni Guli sa kong mom. Then makakita ko nga festive ang intramural sa Moogs, no? Competitive ang tanan. Isang dili apil sa dula kay competitive yapon. <laughs> <laughs> mga way sa pikas grupo kay kay kapildihon sa badiha ah tong na atomic bagyo sir di milintan uy sana all nakapuntan ng bagyo nutri quiz sa school okay mountain climbing ah uh, okay i'm not into mountain climbing oy pero i think for once daw uh, you reach the peak sa anton yung adtuan nga nga bukid daw kay breathtaking daw especially kung ka ng kadlawon sada daw kung ang scenery New Year sa mga iba si Lola kung <laughs> <laughs> sa mga iba sa inyo Lola mga piso, 5, ana, 20 yes for by check ko centavo sir by check ko <laughs> kami ka na gan nakapunit ka o by check ko centavo kay by low an ilag 100 sir Wow, grabe nga, grabe nga ano, grabe nga barter. Layo kay Bia. Unforgettable, yun kayo na, yun. Kaya na ano, kaya na Christmas and New Year. For me, even if, even if we could experience that and, and um, celebrate that every year. For me, uh, my, it hits different yun. For me ha, at least personally. Christmas and New Year really hits different for me. Like, Miskag unsa pa kapoy ang work, miskag unsa pa hectic ang schedule but when the bear months come for me it's it's really a uh, a relief for me nga ala Christmas na uh I, that uh, that really hits for me different yun ganang lahi gid ang feeling no uh, that's why my favorite my favorite holidays would be Christmas gid and New Year Cause everything feels so different in class for me. Basta maabot na gid ng November. Basta maabot nag November. It really, the vibes and everything really hits different yun for me. Ever since bata pa ko, lagi, lagi different nga aura, different nga feeling, yung mga feel, no? When you compare it to other other holidays of the year. Personally, ako mag amazing gid kayo sa Kwan Christmas. And I always look forward to Christmas. Basta, basta ganyan mo, abot nag ka na, ano, September 1, binuang nga, mag, mag binuang, naging ko, anak nga, 
akong playlist gina na kay Christmas songs sa dinya siya. Basta sa September 1, so good na nadya. Nana ko yung valid na ba? Nana ko yung valid reason niya mo play o Christmas songs kay September 1. Wala nang ganaan ko sa Christmas and New Year. Okay. Nga pilog jamboree nagsalong sa pita. Typical naman na sa inyo mga Boy Scouts, di ba? Nga uh, you'd be experiencing campings. 5.10, nag-guidance. Nag-guidance na po, grabe. Face-to-face class. Lagi ba? Dagan kayo mo unforgettable. Dagan kayo kita unforgettable moments and memories at the face-to-face classes. Itong mga ito sila sa inyo magsuot. Lagi ba? Yung mga inanang activities. Liga sa basketball, yeah. Regional sa soccer. Uy, nice. Regional sa soccer. Balik-balik na pa sa sasin. Unforgettable na nga memories. Grabe, yeah. <laughs> okay, so all of these uh, memories that uh, unforgettable events and significant moments in life class, it's really hard for us to forget those. No? Okay, Danny, happy memories nun siya, happy moments, no? It's it's not easy to forget those happy moments or those moments that make us feel happy, that satisfy our ha- that satisfies us, no, and gives us uh, great joy. No, it's hard for us to forget those. In the, in the... Ah, pito lalo pito yako. Yes, Joros. Ani pa dalong. Yes, Joros. Do you have something to share? Joros? Jorkim, Joros, Landar, do you have something to share? Okay. Okay, so going back to the topic, no? That uh, we should be grateful to the happy moments and significant happy moments that we have experienced in our lives because... Uh, not all of us could have those moments or those experiences that we had. No, we all live a different life. No, we are privileged enough to to feel these, um, feel and experience these moments. No, that would give us a unique sense of happiness in our lives. No, so we need to be grateful. We need to. Uh, we should be thankful that we have uh, that we have experienced these ones, and we should uh, not easily forget these uh, happy moments and um, uh, amazing, significant events in our lives, no? But in life class, we, uh, as what uh, a, uh, a friend of mine has told me, you know, we are not living a life if you are just living a happy life, no? We're going to experience, we need to experience some emotional and sad events in our lives as well, no? Because uh, that is what life is and that is life should be. So, di lang every time happy moments ang atong gina, gina experience, gina encounter, gina absorb, no? We should, uh, as human beings, no? We have emotions, we have conscience, uh, we have feelings, no? And we tend to feel uh, emotional as well. And obviously, there are also emotional and sad moments in life that we, we might err or we already encountered, no? And one of the common... Uh, sad moments in life that we uh, we experience or we are uh, we are going to experience pa is a loss of someone important to us no that is one of the uh, most uh, emotional thing that would ha- would happen to us no the loss of a loved one no especially a family member a close relative or a close friend no so who among you here class uh, have already lost uh, an important person in their lives. Can you please raise your hands? Okay, so there are already quite a few of you, no? Uh, so I, I won't be asking uh, or uh, going deeper into this one no, to, towards you, but I know how it feels to uh, lose someone important to us, no? Or someone that we look... Uh, look into or that we have uh, a moment with them, no? Lisa di kayo sa dawagod, no? Someone dear to us 
would uh, would leave us early or would leave us um, in this uh, in this life that we're living right now. You no, know, but you need to accept it because it's reality. You know that uh, there are uh, those some of the important people that we that we had uh, before would are are God. In this life that we are living right now, so if I could also, uh, uh, because I could also uh, relate to you, to you class for those who have lost their loved ones or have lost uh, important people in their lives. Because recently, I think already, uh, did did already pass a month, But this year, lang class, uh, uh, we. Uh, talking to to we is uh, me and my classmates in grade school. No, uh, we have lost a friend, a classmate of ours. Uh, recently, lang yun. Uh, it was really hard for us to accept that he already he is already gone. No, because uh, he's still young. Obviously, classmates with me, so. Uh, we have the same age and it's already gone because of some health problems and it was really hard for us to accept it because he was a happy go lucky person. Uh, there is I don't have any negative negative or bad moments or um, bad things to say about that person. No? Uh, we sort of like grew up together because most of us from our uh, circle of friends or circle of classmates in grade school, we started uh, we started our our uh, years being classmates sa preschool palang, no? So uh, we already uh, we could consider ourselves as kababata because we we only went to the same school from preschool to grade school, no? I had na din may nagbulag bulag pagka high school na, no? Because we already went to different schools, but we, we were sort of uh, reunited when we got to college because almost all of us, or uh, sa among circle of friends at least, went to Xavier, same yung uh, same yung uh, school, malaya uh, lang din ng courses. So, pagkakita uh, kita yapo ni sometimes, no, uh, within the premises of the school or outside the school. So it was really hard for us. It was really hard for us to accept that. He is, he is already gone, and um, we need to accept it. Not because it, because it's the reality. It's a sad moment. It's an emotional moment, but it is a significant moment because uh, it involves a person that it is important to us. That uh, that is important to us. Who is important to us, rather? No. So we cannot deny the class nga. Uh, significant moments in our lives are not just those happy moments, but there are also uh, some sad and emotional moments that we cannot easily forget because of some circumstances. No, also uh, one sad moment as well, but would be a happy moment right after. No, would be the uh, the moment when you had a uh, relative or no. Uh, you had your family members work abroad. So, kinsa may uh, uh, who among you here have parents or closest family members who works abroad right now? Can you please raise your hands? Okay. Na po yapon uban siya no. So, Luis, who's your family member working abroad? Si Tapa sir kay Billy abroad pero na siya sa Manila sir tapos ang kumita uh -huh. rin sir na siya sa London. Okay so how many years uh, but your your papa is um uh recently lang ba siya nakauli? Atong COVID sir kay 2 years siya wala nakauli sir atong December siya first nakauli balik sir. I see. I see. Okay so at least nakaulit na in the Papa Rock and naraman po siya sa Manila. That's good to know. Thank you so much. How about the others? Kinsa pa ganito mga nag-share? Yes, Yuljet? Uh, Duwa sa kontita, sir. Nasa sa Hong Kong and 
Murag, wala pa sila ka ulit, sir, since the pandemic hit, sir. Mm. So, tapos, right now, di ba, Hong Kong is one of the countries na naay critical na naay critical condition sa sa COVID karon kaya nagka-surge sila kalit. Am I right? Hong Kong ba to? Yes, sir. Yeah. No, so, it was really, it is really a shock for me kay supposedly, the the variant that the world has right now the omicron variant is really no deadly but sila nagka-surge sila dito i hope that your titas are doing well there sa ano sa sa hong kong and we hope that they could come back home na dayon no at least man lang maka makaginawa sa sila sa stresses in life there sa hong kong okay thank you yuljet uh, kisa pa ganito class Rico, who's your family member abroad? Si Kwan, si Tita sir, nasa hmm. Egypt. Nasa okay. dito nang puyo. Ah, dito na sila nagpuyo. So uh when was the last time they visited here? Kwan sir, kanang 2016 man tingali to. 2016, hmm. 2015. Okay, so taud-taud na sila wala na pauli dire. Yes sir. I see. Okay, so I hope they are doing well there as well, no? So Egypt. Thank you so much, Rico. Kita pa ganito class. Or or uh, who among you here also have uh, family members abroad? Wala na. Yes, Christine. Akong tita, sir, nasa abroad na siya sa Singapore, sir. Okay. How many years does she uh, work there already? Work or live there na ba? Nagtrabaho siya dito, sir. I think mga eight years na. Mm-hmm. And nakauli na siya? I yes, mean, sir. Before well, the pandemic, sir. I see. Christmas. Okay. And then after na day yun, wala, wala pa rin siya nakauli recently. Yes, sir. Then, positive po siya sa COVID, sir. Ato nga time. Oh my goodness. Dili, sir. Karun, sir. Karun. Oh Ito my ng, goodness. Mao nang sige panawag mi sa yaha dito. Lagi. Pero is she doing well right now or? Yes, sir. Okay. Gina inform me niya sa yung condition, sir. Like, kung siyang ka feel. Then, kapag kapamusta po siyang family diri, sir. Okay, that's good to know. So, I hope nga ma-okay na mo tita, no? We should be kayo nga mag, magka-COVID pa on this on this time class na we are hoping nga uh, ma-okay na ba tanan, no? But still, there are all, there are some people around the world uh, nakatakdan pag yapon, no? So, uh, the least that we can do is still keep wearing our masks, okay, class? So, ayaw gina ninyo kalimta, no? Especially here in our city, uh, we are already in alert level 1, no? We don't need to be complacent ta mag magkakompensa nga alert level 1 na pwede na dayon nga buhaton ang tanan that is a no no please do your part in helping ba by by wearing your face mask always okay class iman on din na ninyo okay so i could relate to some of you class no because uh, my parents and and my brother uh, are 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 at abroad no bali ako technically ako ra isa na bilin dire but I'm living with my grandparents, so morag okay lagi apun. But my parents and my my brother are are at abroad, and they are there for almost seven years now. I haven't seen them for seven years, personally, because they there was they had a plan on top of last year as well, no? Ngamuli po don tasila or mag magbakasyon dere, but COVID happened, no? And nagkasurge pa yun, di ba sa tuwa? sa Philippines sa uh, Delta last year. So mas lisod na noon kayo iuli. That is why na postponed and hopefully makauli sila next year. Cuz yeah, most of the na ako sila wala kita. But um it's fine, no? It's fine na and I'm, and I'm okay with it already because we have these technologies that we can use, no? We can call with them already. We can uh, video call them, no? Or FaceTime, no? Kung Apple users mo, no? Not unlike before nga uh, the 
the means of communicating uh, with them internationally is just through um, telephone calls. Tapos uh, pila ka minutes pagin anak kay mahal pagin kayo di ba class before if you could remember no international phone calls would would be priced at more than 300 to 500 pesos tapos pila ra ka minutes ang pag call unlike today that we can call them unlimitedly no with unlimited time we can call we can video call them no we can see what they are doing right now no how are how are they doing right now so uh it is really a helpful a helpful tool yun nga na ata yung mga smartphones right now internet connections and everything but it still hits different no it still hits different if we could see them personally no that is the sad thing the sad uh, feeling that we could feel no is the feeling that uh, we cannot see them personally no we cannot uh, we cannot hug them no uh, or at least man lang katong sa day nga naglakaw sila no it's a sad uh, day for us no that uh, we uh, we are uh, um, being apart na far apart to them no as uh, in in our experience wala na mo sila nakatod sa airport because layo baya ang lagintingan di ba class we don't have uh, any vehicle to use so uh, the last time that we saw each other is yes yeah, sa gawas sa balay <laughs> sa gawas sa balay kaya nagpara lang ang taxi and uh, and it hit me late no na, late na ni na igo sa ako ang alam mo tinuod nagiday ng mga lakaw sila katong time nga di open na ang trunk sa taxi gibutan na nilang gamit nando so eh, it hit me late and dito na din ko nag start ko uh, pagka emotional because Atong time nga, uh, they are still preparing, no? The morning that they are still preparing, nagkaon pa. Excuse me. Nag, uh, Nag-breakfast pa and all. Murarag normal, no? I, it, it still feels normal to me. It felt normal to me pag na doon na time. It just hit me late na din nga. Kato nakita na na nga ginabutan na ilang mga gamit sa, sa, ano, sa, sa trunk sa taxi. So, that is the sad or the, the emotional moment that we can experience no speaking to those uh some of you who have family relatives and family members who went abroad no katong time nga mularga na gid sila it is an emotional we cannot deny it it is an emotional part you no but it would become then a happy moment when we could see them na no we could see them again if muli na sila or maybe kamu ang muapas na to, no? And that would become a happy moment because we are going to see them again, no? We, can, we are going to um, spend time with them again, no? For how many years, no? Especially for those who have the experience, uh, same experience with me, nga more than five years, nga wala na, na to nakita and na, na to nakita and na, na uban na nga to ang ano, no? At to ang family members and relatives. So, um, I hope that you'd be uh, class, you'd be grateful to all of the happy moments and significant moments that uh, you have experienced. And do not forget to uh, realize, no, to realize and feel the real emo, uh, f real feeling of experiencing those sad and emotional uh, moments in life. No, because that goes to show that we're still humans. Uh, we still have emotions, we still have feelings and conscience, okay? So that is it for our class discussion for this morning. I hope you had understood some of the things that we have discussed right now. And uh, you are going to have an activity uh, in relation to uh, the topic that we had right now. So I'll be sharing this one to you. So can you see my screen, class? Is it uh, readable? Yes, sir. Is it readable, class? Dilikayo? Okay. So, you're going to make a timeline, class, okay? You're going to make a timeline. So, please just read the instructions carefully. No? Follow the instructions. We're going to answer the guide questions here. And uh, when making your timeline, no, if you're going to make your timeline physically using the materials uh, suggested here, just take a picture of the timeline that you have uh, made and place it here, the second page, okay? If you don't want this template, just delete this one 
and if magbuhat mo through PC or or laptop no maggather mo og pictures online take a screenshot or save it as an image okay and post it here ya pun sa second page and lastly make a video a short video explaining kung unsay naa sa inyong timeline okay uh, explain lang ninyo unsa nga significant events ba ni unsa ni nga mga when what's this happened or or unsa ni siya nga event nga naitabo ani nga ani nga moment okay uh, it is just a short video kay igo ra man ninyo explain unsa ni gibuhat no maximum of 3 minutes uh, because 3 minutes is already long for a short uh, explanation sa inyong gibuhat na timeline, okay? So just read the instructions carefully here sa activity sheet and just follow the instructions then, okay? So do you have any questions and concerns? Clarifications? Yes, Krizia? Um, ano sir ka na? Pila ka buok ang throwback sir? Pwede na isa sir? Or pila ang minimum sir? Uh, there's no minimum or there's, uh, there's no maximum as long as uh, if, if you feel like uh, dagan dagan ni dagan dagan mga significant moments nga na happen siya within let's say the past five years no uh, just just uh, arrange it lang then properly from past to present ano kailisud tung past to future na nanalugar <laughs> na nanalugar significant moments sa future no so past to present lang ano siya so but ano to if you don't have a significant moment at 2020 kay COVID man, pwede na skip 2020, diretso na ka 2021 na. Uh, basta naka-arrange lang siya. Okay? Is it understood everyone? Any other questions, clarifications? I already posted the document uh, about the the school administrators sa inyong sa inyong ano sa inyong Google Classroom stem five let me see yes it's already here topic one oh not yet okay I'll be posting it ano wala pa ano na wala mo na appeal okay I'll be just posting it again But why oh why? Wala dali ang ano Wala ang... Okay, sige. I'll be just posting the, ano, the document for the, for the, uh, uh, school administrators. Yes, in English. Explain your timeline in English because our subject is in an English form, we need to explain it in English, okay? Okay, so any questions, concerns, verifications? Yes, Kuzia? Sir, kaning sa ano, sir ba? Picture na judni siya, sir, or like magbuhat to me katong magazine something, sir? What was that, kumag? Ay, katong cancer ba katong materials used, sir? Mm -hmm. I-apply ito na siya sa pag-consa mong picture, sir, sa throwback? Uh, it, uh, you are, uh, the reason why nga magbu magbuhat lang mo is because uh, ano lang siya, uh, uh, what do you call it, representation lang sa significant moments, no? It, it doesn't need nga katong yung mga pictures ninyo before, No? You, uh, you are just say, for example, nakadaog lugar mo o nakadaog lugar mo inter-school competition but you don't have a picture good na katong kamo ni daog, ano, no? You are just going to uh, get a picture that would represent and you will just explain it da yun. Anong, anong ka na nga picture, no? So say, for example, I, I, I downloaded a picture of a group holding a trophy. Explain din ako nga. Uh, this is my uh, uh, so I'm going to explain um, uh, this is my representation of one of the important or significant events in my life wherein we we won uh, we won as champion in an inter-school competition when it, when I was in Botanato grade 
10, no? The year 20 something something. Uh, we won this competition against a lot of uh, uh, schools, different schools from from the country. Anana, 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 anana. You just need to get pictures as representations, not necessarily the the uh, the exact picture that you have for that for that significant event. Okay. So, any questions and concerns, class? Any more questions and concerns? I think wala na. Wala na, okay. So, if you don't have any more questions and concerns, uh, just be, just keep posted on your Google Classroom for some updates and uh, activities, other uh, reminders, rather, that we're going to have. And... If you don't have any more questions and concerns, uh, let's end our class with a closing prayer. Uh, who is our prayer leader? Okay. Anna, please lead us into our closing prayer. Let us put ourselves in the holy presence of God in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Dear Lord, thank you for another successful class, for the things we 